In the words of Stephen Covey, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. Hello to all the viewers. This particular video is about how to prioritize. Uh, whether you are an educator or any other job oriented person or even a businessman, it is important to understand how I have to manage a lot of work that is there in my plate. I should know the techniques to prioritize. So here I am going to share a few very effective tips which can help you prioritize your work. Let's begin. First, I would begin with Ein's Hall matrix. Now, what is that? Before I show this matrix to you on screen, this matrix talk about quadrants, four quadrants, and of course, these quadrants are not the quadrants that we learned in mathematics, but these are the quadrants for urgent, not urgent, important and not important as you can see here. Now let's begin with the first one, urgent and important. So in this particular quadrant, you are going to put the tasks that are urgent as well as important to do. So that is our first priority. Coming adjacent, we have not urgent but important. So here we are going to put such tasks that can be done later but yes they are important to be done. Coming down we have the third quadrant where we have the tasks that are urgent but not important. And then the fourth one where we have those tasks that are neither urgent nor important. So let's have a holistic look of this matrix. Say I have to make a question paper or do lesson planning. I am going to put in the first quadrant that is urgent and important. My other example is that I have to network with other people or I have to learn a new skill. It is important but it is not urgent. So I am going to put it in the second quadrant. Now there are some posters to be prepared or my class library needs to be organized. These tasks are urgent but might not be important as I personally do not have to do it. And there are other tasks like it's been so long I have not eaten junk food or I have to put a few updates on my social media that might not be urgent or important. So I can put it in the fourth quadrant. Now how does it work? We have put our things in these four quadrants in this matrix. Now what to do? Now if we have put it in the first quadrant that is urgent and important, we have to do it. Do it ourselves. If we have put it in the other quadrant that is urgent, that is not urgent and important, then we can schedule it which means we can do it, defer it and do it at a later date. Now if we have put anything under urgent and not important, which means it has to be done right now, but it is not important that I have to do it, I can delegate it. And the last one, which is not urgent, not important, it's my wish whether to do or not, so I can delete it for the time being. So my matrix says the first quadrant is do it, the second one schedule it, third one delegate it and fourth one delete it. So this is how we work with this matrix. So whatever your to-do list is, just write down everything, the tasks that have to do and make this sort of matrix in your notebook, notepad or whatever uh, device you use and then put the task as per the priority so you have the crystal clear idea where to begin your task with. My second idea is 
TTT. Now, what is TTT? TTT is tiny tickable tasks. Now, when we have a to-do list or for that matter, it is a to-do list of today only. What we can do is we can just simply pen it down. For example, reverting to an email, preparing my lesson plan, um, wishing my friend uh, birthday, anything. Now, it is urgent and important. I have to do it myself. So, what I am doing is I am going to make a list of these things. Now, once I have done, say I have made a call to my friend, I am going to put a tick mark against that. How is it helping me? Now, when we achieve something, howsoever small it is, it gives us a sense of achievement. So, TTT, tiny tickable task, we feel self-motivated that we have achieved this, we have done this, only three more to go. So, this is how we are motivated to do our work more effectively and efficiently. My next idea is the four D's. So the principle of four D's, what does it say? Whenever we are going to get any task, we have to quickly go through these four D's. What are these four D's? Do it. I have to do it right now. Delegate it. I don't have to do it. I can delegate it to someone else, a team member or a helper or a student. Third, defer it. I have to do it, but I can defer it. And fourth one, delete it. So these are the four Ds. Do it, delegate it, defer it or delete it. It helps you to quickly make a decision about a particular task. The last is ABC technique. This ABC technique is quite similar to the first one, the matrix one. But in it, you do not have to make a matrix, but you have to use A, B and C. Now, uh, if it is similar, then why I am telling you? I am telling you because this particular technique works when you have a lot of tasks. Sometimes it happens, we have a whole list of things to do and we just feel messed up. We do not know that from where we have to begin and uh, we end up multitasking and none of the work is complete. We started off writing with an email, then um, probably a phone call came and we started off writing with a report and then our supervisor came and then we have to go and accompany him or her and anything can happen. Then I have to take a class, I have to leave for that. So when you know there is a whole lot of mess, how to segregate and prioritize. Now that matrix may help with you know a particular set of tasks say 8 to 10 in number but ABC technique will help you if your um, activities or tasks or assignment are more in number say there are more than 20, 30, a lot of things to be done, small small things but then they are things, they are tasks. So ABC technique says A is urgent and important, B is urgent and not important, C is neither urgent nor important. Got it? So now what we are going to do quickly when we have the list of tasks with us, we are going to write ABC, 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 ABC. So what will happen? Okay. This is lesson planning, this is urgent important. I'm going to put an A. This is reverting to an email, but the deadline is next month for this particular event. So I'm going to put a C because it is not important, nor, not uh, neither urgent nor important at this particular time. I can take care of it the next week or after two weeks as well. So it depends on how you do it. So I'm going to put a C there. Now there is another thing uh, that could be urgent, but not important. So you're going to put a B. Now once you have ABC done, so you have a list of A tasks, you have a list of B tasks, you have a list of C tasks. So ground level segregation and priorita prioritization you have already done. Now once you have done that, you are going to rank the tasks. How we rank? We use numbers there. So in the list of all A's, we are going to see to whom to, to which task we have to give number one, then two, then three, then four. Like lesson planning, I can do that in the evening also. So I have given that a later number, so I've reserved it. So my first priority is say, I have to check my notebooks and return it today only because children have test tomorrow. So notebook correction is my first priority. Urgent and important, I'm going to rank that particular task as number one. 
then I have to get give feedback of a new employee and it has to be done today because today was the first day reporting has to be done so I am going to give a rank 2 to the task because correction I have to give before the children would leave the school but report I can give in after that so number 2 then lesson planning number 3 so under the A list I have ranked the task similarly for B and C list so this is two layered segregation and priority setting first ABC and then 1 2 3 and why we are doing that you must be thinking that it will take a lot of time believe me it will take hardly 10 to 15 minutes of yours but it will be very effective approach once you have prioritized your work you are at peace here you are settled and organized here and when your mind is organized you know what you are doing you are not messed up and above all your work productivity and efficiency increases so all the very best i hope these techniques of how to set priorities with your tasks help you may god bless you all also do let me know in the comment box which particular tip worked the best for you and always keep in mind that flexibility is the key so even after you have organized things you never know when something pops up when the situation call for some emergency or urgency and you have to change your plan so be open to that as well so all the best and please do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to y2l this is priya handa signing off